be fam. So, um, I'm gonna touch on a little bit on the non-biological mother aspect that Leslie was touching on. I know she talked about the birth certificates and luckily I have the actual birth certificate paperwork. So, um, I remember getting a spare one because I figured this information would be relevant to some of us. Um, so on the birth certificate uh, worksheet, it says on there, birth name of parent not giving birth, and then birth name of parent giving birth. So it doesn't specify like mother, father, or anything like that. Um, but it does on the bottom show you relationship to child. And um, Magali and I, of course, mother, mother. Um, and then on his birth certificate, um, it shows mother, mother. So that's cool. Um, and I'm sure that was, it was different when Leslie was doing it, but for us, it was a little bit more modern. And now it says you can do mother, father, parent, not specified. They give you the options of that, but it does actually say genetic father information. And so that, um, could be through sperm donation or sexual intercourse. So that's pretty cool that they've added the sperm donation, um, part to it. Um, and then on the next sheet, it says genetic mother information, person that's applied egg resulting in an embryo. So hopefully that answers your questions on the birth certificate process. Now, again, this is, um, Kaiser's birth certificate, uh, paperwork. I don't know if all hospitals do that. Um, but I know that we had it in Oakland. We had, um, so as I was filling out this document, um, it made me think about how I felt before having this baby. Um, before we had Liam, I was like really scared. I think within myself thinking, what if I'm not enough? He has Magali, who's his biological mom, and I have no connection to him. Like, how am I going to have that connection with him if I'm not his blood. Um, I remember Leslie and Betsy came at the right moment in our lives because this is, it was the time that we started the process. And so I had all these questions and Leslie was so forthcoming with answering them because I asked her, she's in this, you know, she was in the same position as me. And I said, bro, like, how did you feel? Like, does it go away? Like, do you, do you think this way? Did you think this way? You know, cause I was thinking like, I'm not gonna be enough for him. What if he doesn't see me as his mom because I'm not his biological mom? Um, those were the fears that I had. Like, what if he goes looking for the donor and doesn't see me as his mom and he wants to look for the donor thinking that that's his dad or, you know, like it, it brought up all these insecurities in me that I didn't know I had. Um, but speaking with Leslie, I, she said, dude, I had the same, the same fears and the same insecurities. But when she said she held the kids in her arms, it was just like, that's her, those are her kids. The, like the boys are hers, nobody else's, but hers and Betsy's. So, you know, looking back, I think that whole mentality got to me and I was like, you know what? She's right. I'm the one going to these doctor appointments. I'm the one talking to the baby at nighttime. I'm the one reading a book to the baby. The baby hears my voice and Magali's voice. So he's going to know like it's me. Um, but of course you're still, you're still so fearful that like, what if I'm not enough? What if he doesn't like me, <laughs> you know? Um, but like Leslie said, as soon as I held Liam, it was a wrap. I was like, this is my kid. Like, Magali's definitely not the favorite mom. I am. <laughs> um, I remember her being like, she had a C-section and I remember her being like all laid up with the, with the, with the, what is it? The, babe, what was it called? The sheet, the sheet being like, like right at her chest and it was like up and she was laying down and she was just like that. And like, 
I was like, babe, it's gonna be okay. And, and then we heard his cry and I was like, deuces, I gotta go see my baby. Um, <laughs> um, and it was, it was so true. Cause as soon as I heard him, like, it was just like instant, like that, that's my little boy. That's Liam, that's my baby. Um, and I left her. Um, as any, as every parent should, <laughs> I went to my baby and like, it was just instant love at first sight. Um, and then especially because we had the whole NICU situation, I was going into Magal, you know, being in the NICU with Liam because I didn't want him to be like too far away from us and not have us around him at that time. It was like mom mode instantly. I was going back and forth between rooms, between Magali's room, um, because she had the C-section. I went to go check in on her, but I was spending most of my time with Liam because I wanted to share, I wanted to have that bond with him um, because I knew that, you know, I have to go back to work after a certain time. Magali gets extra time with him and she's gonna build that bond with him when she's breastfeeding, when she's holding him, when she's changing him, like those type of things that I don't, that I won't have enough of. So I spent the majority of the time in the NICU with my son. Um, it was just an instant love, instant, like, like, uh, it was instant relief to know that I am enough. Uh, those insecurities went out the door so the bond that I share with Liam now, little things that me and him do where we play with each other, you know, I get on the floor and I'm, I'm crawling around with him. Um, when I get home from work, he runs to the door to greet me. Um, and now it's the coolest thing because he says, mama. So when he runs to the door, he says, mama. And it definitely warms my heart up every time. He knows that I love him dearly and we, do have like a really good bond with each other and he loves me and I love him and he knows that um, It's just it's awesome. It's a great bond that we're starting to develop and it's gonna continue to develop throughout the years um, But one thing that I am fearful of when he does get older is if he's gonna want to seek the donor um, Our donor is an open What is the open donor? So what that means is that he is willing to um, be open to meeting Liam and that kind of scares me in a way only because I'm afraid like what if like later on when Liam's a little older and he looks he tries to look for him because he's missing something and I know I know Magali tells me all the time babe what if it's not that like he just he's maybe he's just curious and that, that's what he wants to do but to me I feel like it would make me feel like like I'm not good enough in a way. Um, because it's like, why do you need to look for him in a way? Like, didn't I provide you with enough? Um, but again, this is all in the future if it happens. Um, but I remember when we were looking for donors, I wanted a closed donor only because I didn't want that insecurity of mine um, to come to surface. Um, but the person that we that realistically I chose, um, he was open. That wasn't even a, a thought factor in at the moment. I was looking at more so like the guy's personality, um, his traits, what he liked, what he didn't like, his education, and all that. And the last part of that was the open donor. So once I saw that, I was like, well, the guy's perfect, and it's, I feel like this guy is gonna be the right fit. Um, the only down part, at least for me in my way of thinking is the down part is that he's an open donor. But if Liam wants to meet him in the near future, when he's 18, he has a right to, and as much as it's going to hurt, I'm going to have to do it. Um, because again, like that brings my own insecurities up thinking that I'm not enough. I wasn't sufficient enough. I didn't feel, fill that void for him that he might have. I think that's the only tough part about thinking about the future when he gets older. So if any of you lady boys um, have any of those fears, like 
I, you know, me and Les went through it. Akira's gone through it. Um, if you guys have any questions more in depth or you want to talk about it, hit us up. Our IGs, hit us up on, you know, YouTube, comment on this vlog, comment on Leslie's vlog. Let us know if you guys have any additional questions or if there's something that you want us to touch on. So make sure to comment down below, like, and have your friends subscribe. Deuces, lesbian fam.